I want to get faster sprinting speed. What exercises should I do? So people will often look at the muscles involved in sprinting and uh, try and develop exercises that target these muscles for power and strength orientated variables. Um, but does direction and range of motion which you train these muscles in actually matter? Or is it just a matter of just training these muscles, getting them more powerful and stronger, and that will translate into a better sprinting performance? So what gym exercises actually will improve your sprint performance? So here they compared muscle activation, which is done with an EMG, electromyography, and they looked at ground reaction forces, which is force coming from the ground as you exert into it. And then we're looking at this, comparing this across three different exercises, which was a barbell hip thrust, which was a barbell back squat and a split squat. So they were looking at the relationship of the activation and also the ground reaction forces in relationship to sprinting. So they had 12 male team sport athletes uh, with an average age of 25. So they perform these exercises separately at around a three repetition maximum. The ground reaction force was measured with force plates and obviously the muscle activation of the upper and the lower of the gluteus maximus was measured with the electromyography. And they expressed this for each leg as a percentage of maximum isometric voluntary contraction. They completed a single sprint on a non-motorized treadmill and they assessed horizontal and vertical forces. So what did they find? So although the ground reaction force was lower, the EMG showed greater activation of the gluteus maximus in the hip thrust exercise relative to the other two. Peak sprint velocity correlated with the hip thrust the best with regards to the horizontal and vertical forces and the EMG data. So this would suggest based on better activation of the muscle that's important, uh, the right force directions, i.e. more of the horizontal than the vertical, that more correlates with sprinting as opposed to more vertical would correlate more with jumping. So this would show you that if you were looking to improve your running sprint performance, which is horizontal propulsion, then the barbell hip thrust would be your method of choice as opposed to a squat and as opposed to a split squat. However, if you were looking at jumping, it would probably be the other way around. Uh, and this is based on the directions and the forces applied and it's specific therefore to running. So overall, this shows you that it probably does matter that uh, you, know, you tailor the exercise to the directions and the positions that you are required within your sport. So anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.